day you guys started working on your ACE response for the story after the fall. So on Monday, you guys, um, if you needed to, you can click on Humpty and reread the story or take a look at it. But we all should have came up with one word, a one word theme for after the fall. Uh, one common theme that I saw throughout your assignments from yesterday was fears. So the one word theme that I'm going to choose to go through this example would be fear. All right, so your page one should look like this. It should only have one word on it. You could change the color if you want, make it stick out. Um, but your one word theme is the only thing that needs to be on page one. On page two now, we have to take that one word that we wrote and write it in the blank. So I'm going to put it right here. And then I have to think what my statement will be. So I'm going to read the question here. So remember, readers can pick the topic they think the whole text is about and then ask themselves, what is after the fall teaching the world about fear? Well, I'm going to think back to the story. I can also go back and look uh, at my theme poster to help me, okay? So what is this, uh, what did the characters learn? How did the character grow or change? Um, when I think of After the Fall, I think of how Humpty changed uh, once he had an accident. He went through some hardship, right? He went through something and then he developed a fear. But then he wasn't enjoying life as much because he had that fear. He also uh, then conquered that fear at the end. So how did he grow or change? Well, he eventually realized, hey, I just need to get on up there and do it again. So he got on up that wall. He conquered his fear of heights. So maybe my theme statement, when I think, what did this book teach the world about fear? I might say something that um, fear can be conquered if you put your mind to it. Another theme statement I might say is don't let fear get in the way of things you enjoy. Both of these are good theme statements. These tell me what I learned and what this story can teach the world about fear. So I'm going to copy the second one because I like this one better. Don't let fear get in the way of things you enjoy. And now for today, I am going to put that second one, uh, or I'm going to put my theme statement here in my answer column. Okay, this is where I'm answering in the form of a claim. I am claiming that this story teaches the world to not let fear get in the way of things you enjoy. So remember, for the answer, write what you wrote on page two in the first box. Then now today we need to do two things to cite and explain. So we need to go back to page one and reread the book to find ideas. So I'm going to go back to page one and I'm going to look for ways that I can cite evidence that show that fear got in his way. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to my story. Now I read this yesterday so I'm not going to go through it all because I know the beginning um, really was talking about his fall. And then here, boom, on page four, I see a quote. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. All right, I love that one. So I'm going to page three, and I'm going to quote it. Because remember, there's two ways to cite evidence. You can quote from the text, or you can paraphrase. So I'm going to quote on page four. And again, I might need to go back and take a couple times to look at it. I was so scared, because when I quote, I want to put the exact phrase on here. So I was so scared, go back, that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. There, I have an exact quote. So again, I decided to quote because that is one of my ways that I can cite 
evidence. If I don't remember how to cite evidence, I can go to my instructions and I can look here and I can read through some notes. So when I cite evidence, I can paraphrase or I can quote. When I quote, I want to use exact words from the text. So I had to copy them in the exact order. Now, if I were to paraphrase, I might say something like, Humpty stopped doing the things that he loved because he was afraid of falling. That would be um, a paraphrase because I'm not quoting the exact text. My next part is I have to explain. Now, you guys are going to find two pieces of evidence. I only found one for the sake of time, but you're going to find two pieces of evidence here. And now I have to explain, okay, why does this support my claim? Well, this supports my claim because, uh, so I'm going to say this shows that Humpty let his fears Get in the way of doing things he loves. That is my explanation. All of this lines up nicely. Again, you should have two examples, not just one. I have just one. You should have two. All right, I'm ready to go on page four. I'm going to write my two-paragraph ace response. So here, this will be paragraph one. My second piece of evidence will be paragraph two. My explanation, this will go in paragraph one with my quote. Paragraph two will have my second explanation that goes with my second piece of evidence. If I finish early, I am going to follow one of these writing prompts. So I can draw a mascot uh, for our school. I can answer this writing prompt about flying cars or I can do some free writing on this page. You should be working on writing until 145, which is your PE time. All right, guys, I look forward to reading these tomorrow.